impassive moon. She would come to me at midnight, pale beneath the moon. Moon hair, moon skin, angel faced. A sharp tongued brat would cuss and rail her own compulsive need. Having punished us both sufficiently, she would find excuse to make up, worming beneath the sheets with even shoes unremoved. Perplexed, flattered, needing her like life itself, I of course received her warmly. This gorgeous hussy, angel of mercy, would descend upon my aching need. Fencing through the night, our passion revealed beneath the naked moon's impassive witness. Etched in my mind, her nocturnal ramblings haunt, hurt, hope me. This sore confusion has drained me, remade me. First seen from a dream, oh so long ago, suddenly there she was, the little glowworm of a friend, sister, lover. Yet pain's eclipse, sated memory's bliss. I cannot rise above this thing, do not really want to. Am I to be all sky, stars, lofty planets circling? Will not the earth receive me, know me for what I am? You are that fecund earth in whose gyrations I am interwoven. Winter's orbit transits a chaotic solstice, but spring comes round again. I shall send forth my golden silver rays to penetrate your hair cloud, those blue lagoons, your eyes. Your mountains and your valleys, your soft moaning places will move and open to receive me. I shall fulfill your deepest yearning, strike my lightning to your becoming, mingle and fuse you me. I love you, yet I'm still above you.